Hey guys, it's Goosebumps Completionist, and today I'm bringing you a book review from Classic 62. It's book 39, How I Got My Shrunken Head. Now recently, I did join that one Goosebumps podcast, and I was allowed to pick a book slash episode to review from the uh, Classic 62 series, uh, which those guys over there have welcomed me with open arms, and it's really fun. I've already done two podcasts with them. Go over to Brandon Symes' channel. I'll put a link in the description of this video to watch uh, the past two reviews we've done that I've been a part of if you guys are interested. Uh, maybe that will get you guys into the podcast in case you haven't heard it. Me, Bumps in the Night, Brandon Syme, Reviewer Beware, and Josh Refuse Inc. are the panelists and we went over this book on there. Um, so basically I'm going to try to give my own personal review on my channel. I will be reviewing the episode right after this and then comparing them because I've already re uh, watched them and technically reviewed them. So anywho, let's get into how I got my shrunken head. This one was a pretty wild one. A very mixed reviews about it. Like, kind of love it and hate it at the same time. But anyway, uh, it's sitting around this kid named Mark. Uh, he's very into everything jungle. He's very neurotic. He's very obsessive over jungle memorabilia and jungle games, video games. It starts off in the story, him and his friends are in his room playing a computer game and Mark's playing his favorite game where you put a kid or put a person over a sand pit and uh, see if they're going to drown in quicksand in the jungle. He's really obsessed with that game and his friends leave and go home and then he gets his package from his aunt, uh, I think it's Benna, I got, that's her name, uh, all the way from Baladora, which is this island that she's uh, doing research at. He gets this package and he takes it into his room and he puts it on his bed and the package uh, opens or he opens it and it's revealed to be a shrunken head that's inside. And the shrunken head ends up having some abilities as we'll come to find out in the book. And he has to keep it away from his sister Jessica. Sister Jessica's, you know, the typical archetype sibling that's just annoying and downright rude but come to find out I actually think that she's less annoying than Mark in this book but we'll get into that in just a minute so Mark being the neurotic type Mark is constantly you know talking about this you know he, he's very protective over his shrunken head even though he's kind of scared of it yet he he's had an interaction at some point where the head seems to come a lot come to life and then one day this lady comes and visits his house and tells his mom that um, his aunt Benna wants to have uh, Mark come visit Balladora. And after the convincing was done, he takes a flight to Balladora. Uh, and then when he gets there, he takes a charter plane with the lady, I think her name is Catherine, and they take a charter plane from the airport to Balladora. Balladora is like this crazy South Pacific island. Uh, with a bunch of history behind it that goes back hundreds of years with potential magic powers that are linked to uh, this tribe that was on the island beforehand. So he gets there and he has this interaction with this doctor, uh, I think his name is Hollings, and his daughter Corrine. And they're kind of, you know, the, the eccentric, you know, safari explorer type. That's what I got in my imagination with these characters. And um, it's revealed that and Ben has gone missing and they let Mark know and Mark gets worried and wants to go find his aunt Benna so it spends a good amount of the book you know going into how he finds aunt Benna then eventually you know after some trials and tribulations you know with dealing with a sand pit dealing with a uh, a tiger cave he ends up finding his aunt Benna and what comes to be realized is that these people that he thought he could trust can't be trusted. Uh, and then it leads up to a climax where uh, Benna and Mark are put in this situation and they end up having to either get out or they're going to be shrunken with the uh, powers that gave the shrunken head uh, its size and power. And what would be done to them, I don't know. But book never really dabbled into it and then something happens and then the ending happens which kind of drops the story on its head and 
that was the really disappointing part. Uh, but I don't want to spoil the ending. But you're really not going to miss much. But yeah, basically in a nutshell, that's how I got my shrunken head without giving too much away. Um, the strengths in this book, I will say, the imagery is there, the setting, the, their, their eroticism with Mark is kind of refreshing. But at most points, it comes off kind of whiny, kind of, you know, woe is me. <laughs> Uh, he's very he's just very loud and he's kind of a annoying person i mean i don't i don't mean to sound rude about mark but he's just really annoying and and that's something that drew me back from the character it's not on the level of scott Harmon from trick or trap for me but it's pretty close he's not the worst character but he's definitely not the best by any means he's just a meh character in this book uh, but anywho uh, the negatives, oh gosh, the negatives in this book is, <laughs> it's kind of repetitive. They're, they're constantly, you know, talking about jungle-related stuff. Uh, they brought up this term called jungle magic in the book, and that's the jungle magic that feeds the island's powers and, and the shrunken head's power, as you'll come to find out. But they don't spend enough time elaborating what that jungle magic is. They just bring it up, and they spend all their focus in the book in the wrong areas, I felt. And they should have spent a lot more time on the jungle magic. And it made me kind of lost, especially when the ending comes. It just drops the whole pace of the book, the whole, you know, steam it had. It dropped it right on its head, and it just fizzled out the whole book in a bad way. Um, and that's another negative, is the ending itself is bad. Uh, and another negative I had was Mark. Mark is just, he's, he's not my type of character. Some people might like Mark. Some people might like the neuroticism of Mark. I did find it refreshing in some ways, but more than so, I found it more annoying. Um, but the imagery was there, and a jungle-type book was cool to read, and it was a different type of goosebump story for sure. So uh, if I had to give this book a rating, uh, on a zero to five star basis, I struggle with this. I just struggle with what I was going to deduct points on. Um, Mark off the bat. It wasn't a make or break deal with Mark, but I deducted a hefty amount of points off for him because it really he really took away from the story for me in, in a good amount of ways. Not as bad as some of characters in the past, but he did take a lot away. So I deducted 0.7 off, you know, to be fair. Um, so we're down to 4.3. Uh, the, re the repetitiveness and the meandering in the, in the middle of the book, it just, it got old, very repetitive. Um, so I deducted 0.6 off for the repetitiveness of the book. Um, so we're down to uh, 3.7. And the overall ending, <laughs> the overall ending to this book, it just makes no sense. It, I wish they would have taken a different direction and kind of told what happened to uh, post-climax, but instead they kind of tied it back to another character that was maybe mentioned in one paragraph, and like in a, in a narration of a story. And you know, it is... Uh, a past tense, you know, how I got my shrunken head, obviously, it's you would think it's like a narration of a story of how he got a shrunken head. But the ending made no sense to what happened in the bulk part of this book. So I deducted um, 0.7 off. So, unfortunately, I gave this book a 3 out of 5. It's not good, but it's not bad. I mean, there's a lot. There's a lot wrong with this book for me. Some people might like this book uh, more than others. Uh, I'm just one of those that just I, I think it's not good, but it's not bad. There's definitely better books than this. Uh, this is so far the lowest rating I've ever given a book. But I will say, in a little precursor to this next follow-up video, I did enjoy the episode tremendously more than this book. I just felt like maybe the episode uh, fared better. In the story than the book did but anyway you know when it comes to how i got my shrunken head i give it a three out of five 
What do you guys think about how I got Shrunken Head the book? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Let me know in the comment section down below, and I'll see ya.